So you want to record iPhone video, do ya? What's up socials? Happy Sexy Wednesday. A lot of you guys were asking in videos that I did a couple weeks ago, a segment I like to call One Minute One Cut, or One Cut One Minute, whichever one I decide to say, how I came up with that alarm timer thingamabob that was keeping track of whether or not I was actually staying within the one minute. Well, it actually came from my iPhone with this little timer app. I just hit the start button, and of course, this was timing me, but I was also screencasting. I was recording this screen in real time while I was talking to you guys so that I could actually stay within the one minute that I was given. So today I'm gonna show you how to use a Mac and an iPhone to record activity on your iPhone so that you can use it in your video editor and enhance viewer experience of how you do things on the iPhone, showing off a timer when you feel like timing yourself, whatever you wanna do. Let's go over to the computer. First thing you need to do, which you cannot see because this is in real life and not on the screen is that I'm going to be plugging in my iPhone with my USB cord to the Mac. Here we go. Boom. Plugged in. Um, when that happens, usually the computer likes to recognize the device and so that's what it's doing here. We're going to get rid of that. But we are going to pull up an application that's going to help us. It's called QuickTime. Go up here to file and drop down to new movie recording. And the first thing it's going to do is pull up your webcam. Hey there, can you see me? <laughs> I have a piece of tape over it so you can't see what I look like on a Sunday. <laughs> what you want to do is mouse around. You'll see this little panel here. We want this teeny tiny little arrow to drop down and for you to select the iPhone and not the camera. Yours may do this by default. I usually have to switch over. So there we are. This guy likes to just pop up whenever he feels like. There it is. There's the phone. I'm swiping through my phone right now and it's doing exactly what I want it to do. So now that we have our phone live and in person and always at the wrong time. I, I don't know why when I plug my phone into my Mac it says 9:41 a.m. every time. I have no idea why. So I'm going to hit record and look at that. It's recording. Can you believe it? And anything I do on the phone is therefore going to be recorded. So I'm going to hit stop. And now we've got an untitled file. We want to save that file. Let's put it on the desktop. Call it iPhone screen actionness. And there's that guy again. Save. And now we've got it. We've got our little guy on the desktop. Now you have a movie file, which you can drag into your video editor and add as a layer to your videos or do any other special thing that you like. This is a way nicer way of getting your screencast from your phone and have it look nice and pristine and beautiful. So thanks to Apple for making that happen for us. Now you know how to record your iPhone with video screencasting. How fun is that? Now you can go upload it to YouTube or integrate it in your own video editor. Or if you want to learn how I use it in layered editing so you can actually see the video in real time with my face and the regular episode, I do that with my linear editing in Adobe Premiere Pro and I actually teach that in my latest course, Sexy Video Editing. So go check that out. The link is in the description. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you sign up for Amy's Elites so you don't miss a beat, that link's in the purple bar below. All the videos, the podcast, and any special nuggets from yours truly will go to that group of people, my special, my peeps. Go check that out. And also, I'll be back tomorrow for Social Thursday, so I'll see you there.